We're loading up the Ranger boat and we're headed to Canada for a trophy pike fishing adventure of a lifetime. We're going to TND Amos Camp in Saskatchewan. We're going to be joined by my son Chris, who was able to get leave from his military assignment. We're going to be throwing large spoons after trophy pike. Well, when you're fishing for northern pike this way, it's a lot of cast and wind and cast and wind. Catch his hook. A pretty good first start. Yeah, it's a good first fish. <laughs> Just at 40. You guys not wasting any time. Nice. Oh, you guys got a double. All right. Ready with that net? Ready? I'm going to turn up one. Ready? Ah! Yeah! Another big one on the spoon. We're having a beautiful morning so far. Definitely had something in her belly. I've been here 10 minutes, three fish, two over 40 inches. I know. That's pretty awesome. The bite really slowed down though, so we decided to move over into Moody Bay. There we found an expanding weed bed that was several hundred yards long and only about three to four feet tall at that time. This spot turned out to be fantastic and we caught a lot of really nice fish there. Not yet. One more time. It's a good fish though. Yeah, it's still just hooked funny, huh? Yeah, that's why it felt bigger. Nice fish, though. I don't like that. I took the fish. Oh, I thought he was way bigger. Just like an alley ran out with 40 yards on me. That's okay. We got none but time. Is it good one, Chris? I didn't see oh, it. Oh, it's a Hailed that spoon right at the boat, oh, too. Yeah. Oh, I'll tuck it out for you, it's over. I can see it. Well, trying to do it. Hey, perfect unhook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, group picture on this one. We're showing you this clip not because this is a big fish, but to stress to you the importance of how you have to handle these fish properly, and you can't just throw northern pike overboard after you catch them. You have to take the time to revive these fish.
might be best with the net back there. She rolled on him, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Might spin out as you walk back. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh. Good job on the net. Yeah, I do what I can for you. Wow. Easy for us, did she? Uh -huh. Gator rolled. She gator rolled me. She's got to be over 40. Yeah. 43. 43 and a half. Nice. Let's take a picture. She'll go 40, but man, she's fat, strong. Butterballs. 45. One, <laughs> if that. <laughs> 41. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What a wonderful day we're having. That's at least a half a dozen over 40. This place is unbelievable. Giant northern pike can be over 20 years old. Therefore, it's really important that you protect this resource. You need to throw these big fish back. GoPro, stop recording. Good one, baby? I can't think it is. I can't get it up. Just keep that hook in it. Hear my drag? Uh-huh. It's coming kind of up, but it's going out. I don't want to lose it on the motor. Well, you just gotta let that fish know who's boss. Yeah, I'm already tired. We're just starting. That's what I love about the swim jig. It's got a single hook. There's quite a challenge. I love it. You notice I have my drag set right for the guy that re me? Love it. Melinda also got in on the action with this fantastic northern pike. She caught this on a swim jig, which we often use when we're fishing in a lot of weeds or cattails. Keep it coming. Uh, we're gonna need the... Keep it coming. I'm trying. You gotta pull in, baby. <laughs> Ooh. 
We did, however, make her take her rain gear off for the photo. You might be a need. Yeah, you never know. Oh, sure acting heavy. Yeah, it's pulling some drag. Actually, see. No. Big catfish. <laughs> big white fish. Big carp. Oh, so you too much stuff on. Nice. Nice job, boys. Chris, get that T and D in the picture. There you go, boys. I love it. Our shoulders needed a break from all that casting, so we went back in for shore lunch, rested a little bit, showered, got in some less slimy clothes, and went back out to see if we could catch one or two more big ones. That afternoon, we put a GoPro on Chris's hat. We wanted to get a point of view fight of what it's like battling one of these big fish. Seeing the fish in the mouth is giant, though. Huh? Oh, no, it is giant. Hey, Matt. Mm -hmm. Because I won't be able to lift it up yeah, in your right. hole. Mm -hmm. Fortunately for Chris, he catches the biggest fish of the trip. You can see what an incredible fight it is battling these giant northern pike. Yep. Big fish, Chris. Uh oh, uh oh, careful, careful. Watch the motor. Working them. Yep. Yep, just work it. Alrighty. You leave your spin up on the Yep. Well, the fish is ready, it might be too green. I'm gonna try it though if it comes this way. Oh, you go on the other Swapping side. Swap inside. Yep. All right, hey, he's coming back that way. Ready, try it. He's coming this way if you want to try it. Ooh, get him in there. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Uh, woo! Some biggin'. <laughs> Chris also happened to win the Small Fish Award, although I gave him quite a run for his money. We caught more big fish than we had room for on one video. Day after day, we caught fish over 40 inches and caught nearly 20 over 40 for the four days we fished. If you would like the Northern Pike fishing adventure of a lifetime, give TND Amos Camp a call at the number listed.